subscribe world action and reaction news warn and press bell button for getting notification of all future updates hello friends welcome to weekly series a to z all about our first video on lca tejas after viewing this video i am definitely sure you can answer any one about lca tejas let's start with little intro The HAL Tejas is an Indian single-seat, single-jet engine, multi-role light fighter designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, for the Indian Air Force and Navy. The aircraft has a tail-less compound delta-wing configuration, which provides for high maneuverability. It came from the Light Combat Aircraft, LCA, program which began in the 1980s to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighters. In 2003, the LCA was officially named Tejas, which means radiant in Sanskrit. Tejas has a pure double delta wing configuration, wing root leading edge sweep 50 degrees, outer wing leading edge sweep 62.5 degrees and trailing edge forward sweep 4 degrees, with no tailplanes or canard, and a single dorsal fin. It integrates technologies such as relaxed static stability, fly-by-wire flight control system, multi-mode radar, integrated digital avionics system, composite material structures, and a flat-rated engine. It is the smallest and lightest in its class of contemporary supersonic combat aircraft. The Tejas is the second supersonic fighter developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, after the HAL HF-24 Marut. As of 2016 the Tejas MK-1 is in production for the Indian Air Force, IAF, and the naval version is undergoing flight tests for Indian Navy, IN. The projected requirement for the IAF is 200 single-seat fighters and 20 twin-seat trainers, while the IN expects to operate 40 single-seat fighters. The first Tejas IAF unit, No. 45 Squadron IAF Flying Daggers was formed on July 1, 2016 with two aircraft. Initially being stationed at Bangalore, the first squadron will be placed at its home base at Solar, Tamil Nadu. Avionics The Tejas has a night vision goggles, NVG, compatible glass cockpit, dominated by an CSIRCSIO domestically developed head-up display, HUD, 3 5-inch by 5-inch multifunction displays, two smart standby display units, and a get-you home panel providing the pilot with essential flight information in case of an emergency. The displays provide information on key flight systems and controls on a need-to-know basis, along with basic flight and tactical data. The pilot interacts with onboard systems through a multifunctional keyboard and several selection panels. The CSIO developed HUD Elbit furnished dash helmet mounted display and sight and hands on throttle and stick controls reduce pilot workload and increase situation awareness by allowing access to navigation and weapon aiming information with minimal need to spend time head down in the cockpit. The first 20 production Tejas MK1 equipped with hybrid version of the L slash M2032 radar. It features look up slash look down slash shoot down modes, low slash medium slash high pulse repetition frequencies. PRF, Platform Motion Compensation, Doppler Beam Sharpening, Moving Target Indication, MTI, Doppler Filtering, Constant False Alarm Rate, CFAR, Detection, Range Doppler Ambiguity Resolution, Scan Conversion and Online Diagnostics to Identify Faulty Processor Modules. The Tejas Mark IA will be equipped with an improved version of the L-M2052 AESA radar being developed jointly by ELTA and HAL. The Electronic Warfare Suite is designed to enhance combat survivability during deep penetration. The EU Suite is developed by the Defense Avionics Research Establishment, DARE, with support from the Defense Electronics Research Laboratory, DLRL. This EU Suite, known as Mayavi, includes a radar warning receiver, RWR, missile approach warning, MWA, and a laser warning receiver, LWR, system, infrared and ultraviolet missile warning sensors, self-protection jammer, CHAF, 
Jeff and Flair's Dispenser, and Electronic Countermeasures, ECM, Suite and a Toad Radar Decoy, TRD. In the interim, the Indian Ministry of Defense has revealed that an unspecified number of U suites had been purchased from Israel's Elisra for the LCA prototypes. Tejas is also to be equipable with an infrared search and track IRST, sensor, which can detect and track thermal energy emissions. Flight controls Since the Tejas is a relaxed static stability design, it is equipped with a quadruplex digital fly-by-wire flight control system to ease pilot handling. The Tejas aerodynamic configuration is based on a pure delta wing layout with shoulder-mounted wings. Its control surfaces are all hydraulically actuated. The wing's outer leading edge incorporates three section slats, while the inboard sections have additional slats to generate vortex lift over the inner wing and high energy airflow along the tail fin to enhance high AOA stability and prevent departure from controlled flight. The wing trailing edge is occupied by two segment elevons to provide pitch and roll control. The only empennage mounted control surfaces are the single piece rudder and two air brakes located in the upper rear part of the fuselage one each on either side of the fin. Armament LCA Tejas is equipped with Russian-made 23mm twin-barrel GSH-23 cannon with 220 rounds of ammunition along with 8 hardpoints for different roles of engagement. It can fire rockets, bombs, and missiles like air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles and anti-ship missiles. LCA Tejas Key Highlights 1. LCA Tejas is multi-role fighter aircraft for all weather condition, hot, cold, and humid, day and night condition 2. Total project cost is 1 billion US dollars 3. LCA Tejas is one of the rigorously tested aircraft before induction more the 4,000 flight hours with extreme condition. 4 till date no accident recorded. 5 The automatic flight control system, AFCS, has been praised by all test pilots one of whom remarked that he found the LCA easier to take off in than in a Mirage 2000. 6. Tejas is a relaxed static stability design, it is equipped with a quadruplex digital fly-by-wire flight control system to ease pilot handling. 7. Tejas MK1 equipped with hybrid version of the L-M2032 radar. It can look lock capability with 120 km range 8. Tejas can fire Indian, Russian, European, and Israeli missiles and bombs. 9. Tejas can lock 5th gen fighters with the help of IRST. 10. Tejas is the alternative of Rafale with little less capability with lesser price. Hope you like this information, please press like button if this information is useful for you. Thanks for watching, take care goodbye for now.